Hello, Model Club, uh, Model Clubians, Clubbers, whatever we want to call it these days. I'm not sure. But I'm going to start doing a lot more of these videos here instead of my own personal channel. So this is a what's in the box. I am testing another wet palette. I have not even tried it yet. It's still in the box. I haven't taken it out. Um, I bought this on my own uh, through the Kickstarter. So any opinions that come forward through this uh, are my own. I have not been paid to say anything. I wish I was. Uh, but that's not the case. So without further ado, we have a wet palette from Cobalt Keep. And this, and again, like I said, it's coming straight out of the box. I really haven't done anything. I think I opened it for a second just to make sure it's all there. But here we are. Let's find out what's in the box. We got, uh, again, I did this through the Kickstarter. Saw it on there. I know, I think this is my, let me count. One, two, three, four, six wet palette, fifth, something like that. Uh, the last one I tested out and I've been using since is the Exemplar wet palette uh, from Hobby Holder or from not hot. It's from the same people that made Hobby Holder. Uh, it's from Game Envy. And I'm really liking this one. So I have been using that. I really like the one from uh, Army Painter as well. So let's see if this one can change my mind. So this is a dual painting palette, wet and dry palette combo for miniature painting, which I thought was pretty cool because a lot of them will come with like the exemplar came with a little plastic palette. The Red Grass Games one comes with a little magnetic one that sticks on the side. Um, the Army Painter one doesn't come with one, but you could probably use the brush holder lid as a side palette if you wanted to. But first of all, let's do this. Uh, it also came with, through the Kickstarter deal, it came with some brushes. So it came with a four piece dry brush set. And again, I haven't even. I don't think I've even opened this. Nope. And let's go ahead and open this up and see what they are. So Cobalt Keep four piece dry brush set has been tailored set has been tailored to meet all of your miniature painting needs. You will find a brush for every dry brush technique to paint your miniatures. These brushes, ha these brushes have been selected for their size and quality in order to give you the best painting experience. We recommend using proper brush care and cleaning to go through that, which brings me back to I said on the last episode, the Gentastic uh, Drunken Brush Goop is really good. I'm really liking this as a brush uh, soap and conditioner. So I'll be using that going forward. I still really like, I think it's very comparable. Let me drag it out of here. Very comparable to the, uh, the Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver. Still really good stuff as well. So I like to use all of those things. I like to use both. I think I use that one more. To soak brushes overnight once I kind of get them wrapped up. So let's get these open. See what these dry brushes look like. I like right away the handles. The gray, matte gray handles. So this is a nice flat for dry brushing. Actually, I could use that right away. And then the rest of them. I don't like how. Let me cut the bottoms off. I'm going to cut this off so that I'm not pushing the brush through that spot wrecking bristles, perhaps. So pull that out. Ooh, that feels nice. Let's compare it. This is the, oh man. The Redgrass Games Extra Large. This one looks a little bigger. For large terrain areas, Cobalt Keep. They both, this has a little bit thicker of a handle, but... They feel pretty. This one feels a little bit less. The one from Cobalt Keep feels like it has less bristles in there. This one feels a bit thicker, maybe a bit stiffer. Maybe it's because they're a little shorter. So if you look at that, the bristles are a little longer on the Cobalt Keep one. So we'll see what that's like. Uh, let's put those over here. The rest of the brushes are kind of the same thing. So I'm just going to kind of skip those. But they came with I really like this. Um, Get rid of the garbage. And then we have a three-piece detail brush set. And these are not sable. I think they're synthetic because I looked up. I purposely went and looked up on the website, on the Kickstarter website, to make sure that they are, to see what they are. So let's, again, I'm going to cut this off so I don't wreck any bristles pulling them out. They come with the plastic protector. Ooh. 
That <laughs> feels like a pinstriping brush. That's really nice. I like that. Let's see what the rest of these feel like. And then we'll get to that wet palette. Nice synthetic feel to it. I really like these handles. Uh, although I do, I have started, and I kind of am really upset that Games Workshop changed their wash, their uh, shade brush to a thinner handle. I'm liking thick, as my hands get older, I'm really liking a thicker handle instead of the skinnier. And I want it kind of, it just feels more comfortable in my hands these days. But that being said, this is a nice paintbrush. I really like the feel of this, of this matte kind of non-glossy material. And then let's pull this one out and do the same thing. Definitely get some water. Feels nice. I'm going to give these a run through later on, see how they go. Uh, but again, this is not a brush review. This is a wet palette unboxing. So we have the dual painting palette, wet and dry palette combo for miniature painting. So it could be for anything. So open up the box initially right away. There's some sponges, some papers to go on the wet palette, an extra sponge, extra papers, extra papers. All right. Next piece of copper. So here's the thing. The copper is supposed to cut down on mold growth. Copper has antimicrobial properties and when placed in a wet palette, can help prevent mold from developing. I I like the way that sounds, but for me, my ex my experience so far with the exemplar wet palette with putting copper pieces, I put some copper wire uh, from speaker. I took I cut up some speaker wire and put that underneath the exemplar palette because uh, it the the piece of copper that they came it's like a little sticker that sticks down in there. I was still getting mold growth in there, and same with all of mine because i'm here in chicago in the summer it's definitely it's humid and in my i'm in a paint in my basement so it is not a very dry environment uh so i do get mold growth in those and i can totally tell by the smell it still isn't working completely so it'll be a nice test to see if this copper piece actually does do that with this wet palette so taking it out of the box right away and again let's look and go over some of the details here uh, the dual wet palette from Cobalt Keep is a stackable wet and dry palette painting system. The dual palette consists of two distinct layers to accommodate both wet and dry painting mixtures, along with a clear lid to allow for easy inspection of your paint. The layers are stackable, allowing for multiple palette combinations in one compact space. So theoretically, you could get from Cobalt Keep another dry palette and stack them on top of each other. And I think the way it actually works too, when I was looking back, is you could get another wet palette and stack that on there as well. So you could have a stack of wet palettes and a stack of dry palettes. I'm not sure why you would need all of that real estate, but I end up filling up the exemplar and the redgrass one pretty quickly. Not the redgrass one, but the army painter one, I, I did fill up pretty quickly. So looking at this, I'm gonna just kind of put these off to the side. This is your wet palette, your dry palette, sorry. And it has this here to let air in and out, I think. Um, I'm assuming this kind of helps the vacuum of the, the seal of it go a little more. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe that's on the bottom. The wet palette layer has three walls where you can place your paint containers and or water to aid your color mixing. So it does, again, also has these here on the side with some water. Or you could, this would be great to add some Lamia medium or contrast medium here or some glaze medium to make a nice big well of it whereas sometimes like with this one from exemplar you're only getting that little tiny reservoir the dry palette layer uses a un unique hexagon design to optimize the available space with 14 full hexagons to create your own color scheme cobalt keep specializes in mag magnetic solutions for wargaming miniatures see all our full product at cobaltkeep.com all right recommended instructions for you so i'm actually going to read the instructions this time Place the sponge in the wet palette well and layer a sheet of parchment paper on top of the sponge. Pour water over the parchment paper until the sponge and paper are completely submerged. Allow the sponge and paper to soak for one minute. Drain excess water from the wet palette and the parchment is ready for paint. 
Once your painting session is complete, place the clear polycarbonate lid on top of the palette to save the paint for later. The silicone stopper can be cracked or removed to adjust airflow and prolong the life of the paint. Monitor, monitor the moisture level inside. Now, right away, oh, my head went down there. Bleeding? Right away, I am bleeding. Right away when I went down and, I'm sorry. Right away, I'm worried about the, this staying wet. That does not, and this is me, and again, I'll, I'll test this in a couple days here. Um, that doesn't feel like a seal to me. That's just stacked. There's no like rubber grommet or anything that kind of, it feels like it. I don't think that does anything. It feels like it should have a tight seal to it, like a snap, and it doesn't have that. So there, you can kind of feel the air suction when you pull it off. Who knows? Maybe I'm totally wrong. So let's start with this. As far as dry palettes go, this feels, let me pull that. This comes off, this snaps on really nicely. There is a snap to that, which of course will help. And this helps pull that out. Um, I like the way that the edges of this work for like keeping your paint off your brush and it'll sink back down. It's not just kind of straight. There's a, there are some little on here. I like that too. So that should be no problem. Whatever. That should be fine. So let's just see how the wet palette works, how the sponge works. We'll pull this off. I have my, I used in the past, I've used this, uh, <laughs> it's a screen protector to get the bubbles out but it's great for smoothing out your wet palette. So let's just go ahead and open one of the sponges and follow directions exactly how they say. And we'll put that in. We'll take one of the parchment page paper pieces and let it soak. And then I'm gonna put uh, some paper on here and let it sit for about a day. Well, oh, nope. Let me put this underneath first. The copper piece. Go ahead and put that copper piece under there. Put down on the mold, supposedly. And let's see. Come on. Everything's so hard to open. What's in the box? All right. Parchment paper. Square. Now this is definitely smaller. I'm going to put the, the exemplar next to this and open this up so you can kind of see the size difference. There is a huge size difference in these two. And I, again, I do like my real estate. This is very small when it comes to a wet palette. Um, but let's see, here's my parchment paper, putting that over that. And then my water is right here and it says go right over everything until everything is fully submerged. Which is very different than what a lot of the other ones say. The other ones kind of say to put sponge first keep the water off the top this is soaking up quite a bit of water all right fully submerged I'm gonna let it sit fully submerged it doesn't look like any other water is being sucked off it said pour out the excess gonna do that okay there we have it. I just went back and looked at the Kickstarter site. It says to make sure to, they're saying that their sponge, the flat side should be up. So that's kind of what I did. Um, they are showing stacking multiple wet palettes on there. So that might be the best way to go with this. If you're worried about size is pick up a couple of these. So you can kind of keep one color scheme in one spot in one palette and one in another. So let me wipe, get some water that I spilled. All right. I also saw that they were taking this, the clear lid. Let's see if this is the case. And using the clear lid. Yeah, that that feels better as a lid. Like if you want to keep and not worry about this having a lid. I wonder if you can order extra lid. But that seems okay. But I'm going to just check bleed through. So I'm going to take a couple paints uh dropper paints 
And I'm just going to put two drops of paint. I'm not going to do anything. It's going to put them on the paper. And I'm going to let this sit for a day and with their normal lid. Put one drop there. All right. So we put two drops of paint down. And I am going to just... So, hi. All right. And knock that down. So I'm going to put those two drops of paint down. And I'm going to put this exactly how I got it. I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to put this on there. And then I'm going to come back in one day or a couple days and see how it goes and see what happens. Okay. It has been one week since I have opened the Cobalt Keep wet palette that I was trying out. I have not touched it. It's been sitting right down there. Uh, I put some water in there a little bit ago. You just saw it with the edit, so it's pretty quick. Um, it is January here. I think I mentioned that before. It has been around 30 degrees. Humidity is pretty low. So I wanted to see how well this st stood up to the test of time and see how much water uh, evaporated without touching this, without opening it, to see how the paint held up for about a week. Uh, I probably, after I thought about it today, I probably should have put some paint in here just to see how well the plastic cover takes or keeps paint. But so far, everything else, it's built really well. I don't think I even mentioned that in the beginning of the video. It is built really well. I apologize for the reflection I'm getting on the lights, but nothing I can do about that. It's built really well. The construction feels really, really nice. I'm trying out, I don't want to flip it over and show you the bottom because there is paint in there right now. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Wow, wait a minute. I'm stunned. I'm actually stunned. So this uh, is still soaking wet. Watch, can you see the corner there? That is still soaking wet. It's been one week. I have not touched this, haven't opened it. And this is probably the driest month of the whole year here in the Chicago area. So if it was going to evaporate out of here, it would have been now. It would have been in January. I don't see any mold growing also. So that's a really good sign. Um, I do see that the blue has soaked through into the sponge. So I'm just, I'm not going to, I just want to kind of, there's some staining that's come through. The red did not leak through at all which is shocking to me as well but the blue did kind of seep through a little bit and stain the sponge um i i can't believe this actually i'm pretty impressed this stunned not, i thought this thing was going to be almost bone dry when i opened it when that seal again there's no rubber seal around this it's just plastic on plastic with really no sort of snap to it at all but it totally kept this thing wet. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, so the next thing I wanted to kind of check is just see how the paint held up. And it looks... And I haven't wet this brush. This brush has not been wet. Nothing's there. So let's just kind of see. That paint is still good. Still totally usable. Um, I would, the paint's a little dry, but the sponge itself is still really, really good. So let me test the red paint and see how that turned out. And this, it is still really good too. It's still usable. So, I mean, it's dry. The paint is wet. It's not to the point where you'd be able to paint with it. You'd have to add some, some water to it or some medium. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this just straight out of the pot and mix some water in there. And it totally reactivates just fine. Okay. Same with the red. It totally reactivates just fine. I, wow, I really like this. <laughs> so I, glowing recommendation here as far as how well it kept the paint. Um, the other thing, again, this sponge, I really like versus, uh, I don't, and I don't want to put this one down either. The exemplar is really nice wood palette. Um, I'm going to open this one up just so you can kind of, I'm going to compare and this, you're going to see how bad my, my other one looks right now. 
this has been i it's, it's probably been a good um a month since i've used this i would say maybe longer and it's still totally damp the only thing i would say about this is look if you can see that there is totally mold growing on it right so you can see the stay this the um you can see the stains from the paint but that brown there that is not paint that's mold growing on the sponge right there um and smelling it you can totally kind of smell the mold growing on it this i i love the size of this one i love the case i'm just not too happy about this sponge the other problem i had with this sponge real quick is it ripped okay uh when i was kind of i took it stupidly and i have some extra sponges with it so it's not it's my fault more than anybody but i kind of like like you would with a sponge i rang it out and it ripped this sponge this sponge feels like a totally different material than what this sponge is on the cobalt keep wet palette and it it feels really it feels almost sturdier it feels like a real sponge where this feels super synthetic but i love the the real estate you get on the exemplar right because i kind of go all over the place with my paint but this i still can't believe it's that wet like like look at that paint just like pouring out of there, or water pouring out of there and i didn't add anything to that wow so all right the other thing i didn't talk about on here i'm gonna i'm gonna totally use this thing um is there is paintbrush holders there on the side right next to there so if you wanted to just kind of set your brush there i really like these really deep wells they fit games workshop pots they fit the big contrast pots so you don't spill these over and knock them over like everybody does they fit the new i think they fit i haven't tried yet they fit the new pro acryl bottle sizes they're not really that new anymore um they fit let's see let's see what size is this it fits one of these large uh vallejo uh, bottles too does it fit this no so this is about the size that it doesn't fit okay but i glowing recommendation here on the cobalt keep system i i really think this is going to end up finding a lot of use for me the the dry palette part i have a feeling it's going to work just as well because this this seal feels a lot tighter and i think if you wanted to use this that's going to work really well too so cobalt keep well done great wet palette i am truly impressed with the build on this i am going to turn uh you know what i want to turn this upside down just so you can see the bottom so i'm going to pull the sponge out and it's so you can see that it the stain went through there the, it looks like the actually the red did stain a little bit but not that bad um here's there's the copper piece that's in there but the bottom cobalt keep really nice heavy duty plastic it's not it doesn't feel like junk at all so I, I gotta give a thumbs up on this wet palette i truly do and looking back at that video i said it earlier from the kickstarter video from from their page um you you can stack multiples of these and i totally feel like this if you stacked them it, it's not gonna leak if it stacks as well as this or let air out i think you know what i didn't even try that this water i'm turning this on its side no what got my squeeze bottle from the other side i want to try something so i'm gonna see i'm gonna put this i'm gonna kind of overfill this a little bit you can kind of see the water slash slashing around in there it soaked it up pretty good let me get it so that it's oh wow that sponge is awesome <laughs> really like... so here's what i want to try i'm gonna put this on here now I totally think this is good. I, it's gonna spill out. There's no way it's not. So yeah, you get a couple drips out of there. It is coming out. So that just show that seal isn't perfect, but it kept it totally wet. So I don't know. It I overflow it. Like that's pushing it. Um, there you have it. The Cobalt Keep Wet Dry Palette System. 
Um, again, all information is down below. I'll put a link up to the Kickstarter page and their website. I don't know if it's available yet on the website for people who, who did not do the Kickstarter. But everybody, if you're looking for a wet palette, you could not, and a dry palette, and a system that kind of saves some space if you don't need a huge one with a lot of real estate. Um, you know what? I'm going to compare it in size to the other ones. All right, real quick. I'm going to compare the sizes. Back the camera. So you have the exemplar from Hobby Holder. The Hobby Holder from Game Envy, sorry. So you have this one. There's the size. Okay, let me, let me get some of this out of the way. Exemplar. Masterson's. Army Painter, which is still a great wet pellet. I re still really good. I, it's about the same size as the Cobalt Keep. It's not. It's a little wider, so it's a little bigger than this. And then you have the Redgrass Games. This is the original one from the Kickstarter they did. I think they fixed some of the things. I don't know. Can you hear this? I don't like that thing. I had trouble with that seal. And I think they've kind of fixed that in the update. These are very similar and very comparable. This one, I think, has the most real estate. I do know Redgrass makes that bigger one as well. But I... This is still the biggest one, which I really like because I'm sloppy. So I like that about it. But I'm... I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> it's going to see which one's going to stay on my bench. Anyway... Uh, thank you, Cobalt Keep, for making this. Again, I bought this with my own money. They had no idea I was doing this video. Um, and I, I highly recommend this to everybody. So, again, check it out. Information is down below. See you next time.